Hey, this is J Boom here. What you're looking at here right now is a little rough sketch I did through Procreate. Just a 30 second time lapse. I just wanted to get the rough idea of what it was going to look like. As you'll see, some of the details are a little bit different in the actual card. Probably the biggest difference is the uh, direction of the, the chain on the right side of the card, which really was just because of the room. This is one of the sketches where I actually remembered to record the uh, pencil part. So you can see how I kind of put it out on the paper there. This is running at about uh, four or five times speed, I think. I do look at the uh, original card for reference or one of the resource books, um, but that's for series one through five cards. Get the nice tearing flesh away from the arm skin there. Speaking of those reference books, I really wish they would make some of the additional series for those. They're just absolutely awesome books to look at, especially if you do a lot of sketching. It's really fun to study the details of those original John Pound and Tom Bunk pieces of work. coming out there in the leg. I always think the shoes of these garbage pail kids look so weird. This was a fun one. I like doing the, the ones that don't have all the standard skin tones on them. This one certainly doesn't. This is from the We Hate the 80s set. From the toy subset, I believe. Pit Monster. I'm sure a lot of you that collect garbage pill kids probably remember these things. It can be really tough to get um, all the details squeezed into the card here unless you really shrink it down and I find when you shrink it down too much you know you end up not being able to get all the super fine detail in there but you know when these cards are produced originally they're painted on much larger sizes I think 8 by 10 or so and then you know they scan them in and shrink them down for print But you can see, you still get quite a bit of detail in here. This mechanical pencil I'm using, by the way, is a uh, 0.3 millimeter size pencil, lead. Got that poor dead kid there with his missing limbs. So I kind of get the, the rough pencil as you saw, and then I, I go over it a little bit more in detail. Make those lines a little bit darker before I go through and either ink right over it, or in this case, you'll see that I just erase lightly so I can get some of those, um, the retention of the lines there. But in this particular one, as you'll see, I end up doing the color. I end up doing the color first before I do the, the inking. and. Um, for one thing, it allows me to do the, um, the inking immediately after I do the color, which is uh, a good, good time saver, because with those uh, pens that I use, those, uh, I know I'm going to butcher the name here, but Fudnesuke, 
combo. They take a little while to dry, so I do the color first and then ink over it. It uh, doesn't drag as much of the dark ink in. Some of the smaller details that I do, I use the Micron pens as well. As you probably know from the title, this is a, a commission for the Food Fight set. I have actually received my new cards for the, the next GBK set, but I haven't quite started working on them yet. I haven't decided if I still want to use all markers and ink for this upcoming set, or if I maybe want to try using some acrylics. Um, so we'll see. I'm sure that I will upload a number of videos. Uh, actually, one thing that I'm interested in trying is maybe doing a super fast forward time lapse of uh, most of the pack inserts that I do. But the only problem is that it does take quite a bit of time to do this recording and then editing and, you know, you gotta speed up each of the segments when if you, if you break it apart in multiple segments, which of course I'm not gonna be doing uh, all the pack sketches at the same time. So there'll be a lot of different clips of video. Um, the camera that I use um, is actually a digital SLT, um, similar to an SLR, but it's, uh, it's got a translucent lens. Um, and I put that on a tripod above and uh, of course it's mostly meant for photography so it's not really the uh, best choice for video but I use it anyways. I like the fact that you know I can use my camera lenses on it and zoom in to a specific uh, area and you know, keep the focus locked without any issues there and uh, the quality seems pretty good. I have a lot of control over like white balance and things like that. So you may have noticed that the first uh, return sketch that I recorded of Junkie Jeff, I did have a little bit of focus issues initially and some brightness issues, which you know I probably should have tested out ahead of time. But uh, obviously, I got that sorted out by the time I did the next one. So it's a little unfortunate that I didn't have that all sorted out before. I really enjoyed that sketch. I think I'll probably keep it a little quiet here for the rest of the video, just have the music playing, play to sit back, relax, watch the rest of the video.